In this video, we'll show you how to install a high-performance Rockford Fosgate audio system on a Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Welcome back, I'm Eric, and today we're gonna to show you how to install an aftermarket HD14 CVO Stage 2 kit on both a CVO Street Glide and CVO Road Glide. We're going to use our Street Glide as the base install. Now, when we explain a specific installation method, we'll display either a Street Glide icon or a Road Glide icon. However, most of the required installation steps are the same for both models. Now, before you get started, you need to have your factory radio flashed by an authorized Rockford Fosgate dealer. We have a list of dealers that can flash on our website. The stock radio contains an excessive EQ curve preset by the factory. Now, this is fine for a factory setup, but with the high performance aftermarket system, we need to get rid of that EQ curve, allowing you to experience the full potential of your Rockford Fosgate audio system. We'll get started by removing the seat using a number two screwdriver. On our motorcycle, the seat uses thumb screws. We use a half inch socket to remove the ECU cradle out of the way to access the battery. Once that's done, you can use a 10 millimeter socket or Phillips screwdriver to disconnect the battery terminals. Okay, let's get ready to break down our motorcycles. We'll start with our street glide and begin removing the fairing. The first thing you wanna do is install the service cover on the fender. Next, we'll use a T27 Torx driver to remove three bolts that hold the visor in place and four bolts on the inside. Now it's best to have two people in this step, one to hold the fairing in position and the other to remove the screws. Once we pull up on the fairing, we'll disconnect any harnesses and remove it from the bike. Now we'll show you the process on our road glide. We'll start by using a Phillips screwdriver to remove the front windshield. Then remove the air vent diverter and disconnect both marker light harnesses. We'll use a 3 16 Allen driver to remove two bolts from both marker lights. Now we'll move to the inside fairing and use a T25 Torx driver to remove the two bolts on each side, holding the lower air deflectors in place. Then we'll use a plastic pry tool to pop out the grills and remove the two remaining bolts. It's best to have two people for this step, one to hold the fairing in position and the other to remove the screws. Now that the fairing is off, we'll remove the headlight assembly. Use a long reach 3 16 Allen driver to remove four bolts from the assembly. Decouple any connectors attached to the headlight, then pull down the headlight and detach the wiring harness. Now we're ready to remove our speakers. On the street glide, we'll need to remove our inner speaker pods to access those speakers. We'll start by disconnecting the harnesses on the top using a flathead screwdriver or plastic removal tool. Next, remove the air vent using a T27 Torx driver. Finally, remove the wires that were located under the air vent. Next, we use a 532nd ball and allen to remove the two screws from the top of each pod. Then we'll move down and remove the three bolts from the lower inside using a 7 16th socket with a swivel joint and extension. These can be difficult to access, so we recommend detaching the lower harness panel with the number one Phillips to give you extra space. Finally, we use a 3 16 Allen to remove three screws from each pod. Then use a T25 Torx to remove three screws holding the factory grill in place. Be sure to save the hardware to secure our new grills in place later. Now on the road glide, the speakers are easy to access right under the fairing. Use a T25 Torx driver to remove four screws from each speaker. 
Remove the speaker and detach the harnesses. Save the hardware for installation of our new speakers later on. Let's take a second to talk about the grill options included in our kit. The TMS 6.5 speakers contain extra grills for road glide, tour pack, and street glide installs. Notice the road glide grills are keyed to fit one way, and the street glide grills are marked with left and right labels for proper orientation. Now we're ready to install our speaker grills. On our street glide, we'll start by installing the new grills, again, noting left and right labels. The logo on the front of the grill will reside at the bottom. Now we're ready to replace the speakers in the pods. We'll use the same T25 Torx to remove four screws from the speaker pod and install the new one with the logo facing the bottom as well. Connect the factory speaker wires to the new speakers, noting the white wire is positive and the black wire is negative. Once you're done, repeat the process on the other pod. Next, reattach the speaker pods to the fairing. Use a 532nd Allen to loosely thread the two screws on the top of each pod. Reinstall the inner bolt on the bottom, then move to the left side. Now that you're done with that, Use a 3 16 Allen driver to secure the outer three screws that hold the pods in place. Then move to the other side. Now, finish securing the two screws on top of each of the pods. Reinstall the lower harness panel and reattach all remaining harnesses back in place. Now we're ready to show the road glide process of installing our speakers. Now compared to the street glide, this is very easy. Connect the factory speaker wires to the new speakers, noting the white wire is positive and the black wire is negative. Align the speaker by orienting the Rockford Fosgate logo toward the bottom. Use the hardware previously used to secure the speaker in place using a T25 Torx driver. You'll install the new grills at the end during the reassembly process. Now we're ready to remove the gas tank. This process will be the same for both road glide and street glide. Let's get started by disconnecting the gas line. Push up on the hose and while sliding the fitting upward, pull down on the gas line. Next, disconnect the electrical harness and pull two breather lines. Note that they may be zip tied underneath. Then use a half inch socket to remove two bolts in the back. Detach the rubber boot from the front of the gas tank and use a half inch socket to remove the bolt. On our motorcycle, we used a long reach extension to clear the lowers. Once you're done, remove the gas tank from the motorcycle. Then cut any zip ties off the trough cover and remove that as well. 
Now we're ready to install our power harness. This process will be the same for both Road Glide and Street Glide. Take the power connector side of our harness and run it up the clutch side of our motorcycle. We'll route our harness through the main opening up to the headlight area following the factory wiring harness. We want to take a moment to talk about how the factory amp is mounted and how we're going to replace it on your motorcycle. On a street glide, to remove it, detach the wiring harness, then unscrew the two nuts using a 7 16 socket to lift up and slide the amplifier out. Finally, remove four screws underneath using a T25 Torx to detach the mounting bracket. On a road glide, the factory amplifier mounts on the bottom of the source unit. Remove the four bolts and slide it out. Now that we're done with that, we're ready to tune our amplifier. We offer an amp tuning guide that's available in the description of this video and through this kit's product details page at rockfordfosgate.com. This process will be the same for both road glide and street glide. Use the included Allen wrench to remove the smoked control cover. Using the tuning guide as your reference, minimal adjustments should be needed to tune the amp. Once we're done, we'll reinstall the cover in place. Okay, now we're ready to prep our amplifier for our street glide. We'll install our four standoffs using a 10 millimeter socket. Next, position the heat sink with the fins facing outward and secured in place using a 1 8 inch Allen driver and the provided flathead screws. Once you're done, install the amplifier. Again, noting the orientation of the Rockford Fosgate logo and secured in place using the supplied hardware and 2.5 millimeter Allen driver. Now for the bracket prep on road glide installs, the way we mount the amplifier is very different. First, we recommend removing the radio since it's easier to install our amp assembly. To get started, we'll disconnect the wiring from the back of the radio. Now we suggest taking a photo with your mobile device so you can remember where each connector attaches. Once that's done, use a 3 16 Allen driver to remove four bolts securing the radio in place. Remove the radio, being careful not to scratch the front bezel. Let's take a moment to talk about our amplifier bracket. On our road glide, we'll use the T-bracket and heatsink. Flip the T-bracket over and align it with the screw locations noted on the bottom of the heatsink labeled 2015 plus road glide. Note the bracket and heatsink orientation. Use a 2mm Allen and the flathead screws to secure the bracket to the heatsink. Additionally, for road glide installs, we'll remove the power connector harness from the amplifier using the included Allen wrench. Attach the new 90 degree harness, noting it can only be installed one way. Ensure the harness is fully seated and secured into place. Once you're done, install the amplifier noting the orientation of the Rockford Fallsgate logo and secure it in place using the supplied hardware and 2.5 millimeter Allen driver. Once that's done, flip the amplifier over with the 90 degree angle connector facing toward the inside. Slide the amplifier in place with the lip capturing the radio bracket. Use the provided hardware and eight millimeter socket or wrenches to secure the bracket in place. We recommend pre-installing the bolts on the inside before tightening the nuts on the outside. Now we're ready to reinstall our radio. Carefully reinsert the radio, making sure not to scratch the faceplate or bezel. 
then secure it in place using the previously removed bolts and a 3 16 Allen wrench. Refer to your earlier photo on your mobile device and replace each connector on the rear of the radio. Now that we've replaced the amplifier, we need to loop our audio signal from the factory amp harness back into the system so we can use our new M5 amplifier. You'll have a set of bypass plugs included in your amplifier kit. Refer to the tuning guide to determine the appropriate bypass plugs to use in your system. Now we're ready to install our bypass plugs. Now if you have a street glide or a road glide, the following process is the same. Our motorcycle requires two bypass plugs. First. Find the OEM amp harness located in the fairing and plug in the jumper until it clicks into place. Second, we'll locate the OEM amplifier in the saddlebag, detach the harness, and plug in the appropriate jumper. Now let's take a closer look at the T-harness. The female T-harness is where the factory harness plugs into and the male end plugs into the radio. The amp inputs are for the front and rear signal input. The amp outputs are for the front and rear speakers. This is the amp turn on when using the DSR processor. These Y adapters split the front and rear amp outputs for additional speakers, which aren't used on CVOs. Finally, these harnesses are used together for the DSR. Now we're ready to install our T-harness that allows us to interface our Rockford Fosgate audio with the Harley-Davidson electrical system. This process will be the same for both Road Glide and Street Glide. Take the factory connector and plug it into the female side of the T-harness and lock it into place. Then, plug the new T-harness into the rear of the radio and lock the connector. Now we're ready to make our amplifier connections. This process will be the same for both Road Glide and Street Glide. We'll start with the amplifier input harness and connect the front and rear to the corresponding amp inputs. Take the T-harness labeled Amp Output and attach these to the corresponding amplifier's front out and rear out connectors. Finally, plug the power into the amplifier connector and plug the blue wire into an empty connector on the top of the brake side. Now, if this plug is occupied with another accessory, relocate the accessory item to pull power from one of the other connectors available. Now we're ready to replace our saddlebag speakers. Now, if you have a road glide or a street glide, the following process is exactly the same. First, disconnect any harnesses from the factory speaker. Then, while supporting the grill with your knee, Remove the four bolts on the inside using a T27 Torx. Carefully close the lid and remove the grill. Next, use a T27 Torx to remove the four bolts holding the speaker in place. Remove the speaker and install the TMS57 with the speaker terminals facing forward. Secure it using four T27 screws. Then replace the grill and carefully brace it while securing the original screws in place. On Boom 2 systems, zip tie the secondary harness to the first, as this is not needed. Plug the harness into the speaker terminal until it clicks into place. Finally, we've included some replacement badges for the speaker grills. Remove the backing and carefully position it in place then remove the protective layer. Once you're done, repeat the process on the other side.
Now we're ready to clean up our wiring, reinstall the center trough, install our gas tank, and make our battery connections. Be sure the gas tank harness is connected before proceeding to prevent any error codes. This process will be the same for both Road Glide and Street Glide. Now we're ready to test the system. If you haven't had the factory Harley-Davidson radio flashed, now is the time to do it. Refer to your tuning guide for testing procedures and make any adjustments as needed. If your radio is not flashed, keep the volume at a minimum or you will damage your speakers. You can also find a list of dealers that can flash your radio on our website at rockfordfosgate.com slash dealer locator. Now that everything is working properly, let's finish reassembling our motorcycle and get this back out on the road. As you can see, that install was pretty straightforward. If you prefer a professional do the install for you, we have a network of authorized Rockford Fallsgate dealers that can be found on our website. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our technical support. They can be reached Monday through Friday at 1-800-669-9899 or through live chat at the bottom of our website at rockfordfallsgate.com. Until next time, I'm Eric, and we'll see you again soon.